Hello, friends. Phil Bechtel here from the Kid Stories Podcast. Thanks for joining me so we can practice writing and stretching out our words. If you go to kidstoriespodcast.com, you can download all these writing sheets for free. Let's jump right in. I want to remind you, with, the, with this set of writing tasks, we're not going to worry about spelling so much, right? We, we're going to get our sight words and our, you know, those high-frequency words. Those are all going to be spelled accurately. But there's going to be some words that we need to stretch out or sound out. We're going to do that together. And for those words, we're not going to worry that they're spelled perfectly. We're just going to practice stretching them out. Now, you know how I like to get started writing sentences is by saying the sentence over a couple times, you know, so I get it in my head. So for this picture, we're going to say our sentence is going to be the unicorn will eat the burger, right? Obviously, she's starving. The unicorn will eat the burger. So I'm going to write lines. I'm going to draw lines for each word. This is going to help me remember my sentence, okay? You can do it this way, or you could do it your own way. Whatever suits you, whatever gets the job done. The unicorn will eat the burger. Now, this is also a nice handy way to make sure that I have spaces between my words and I can make the period, I can put the period at the end before I even start my sentence this way. The unicorn will eat the burger. Okay, so let's start with our first word is the, one of the most popular words. It's T-H-E. That's how we spell the is T-H-E. Let's use an uppercase T or a capital T because it's at the beginning of our sentence. T H. Now, feel free to pause the video if you need to. The unicorn is our next word. The unicorn will eat the burger. Okay, the unicorn. So we need to stretch out the word unicorn. We do that. All we do is we say the word over and over. We say it slowly. And then we write down the letters of the sounds we hear. That's it. The unicorn. So U is, I'm going to guess, the letter U. Let's try. The U, N, N, I, the U, N, I, 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 that's that short I sound. The U, N, I, K, K, there's a hard C. The U, N, I, K, or, or, or makes me think, there's a sight word that is or. That's spelled O-R, so I'm just going to use that. The unicorn-n. The unicorn-n. That's an N. The unicorn will eat the burger. Will is a sight word, and I'm going to tell you how to spell it right here. Ready? W-I-L-L. -L. The unicorn will eat. Eat is another very popular sight word. I love to do it myself, and I'm sure you do as well. It's spelled E A T. The unicorn will eat the burger. So I know the, it's right here. So I'm just going to rewrite that T H E T H E. The unicorn will eat the burger. That's but I'm gonna have to stretch it out, so I just say it slowly and I write down the sounds I hear. B b. Er er is R. The bur g g is a G. That's the hard G sound. The bur g er er another R. Now, you probably know that is not the correct way to spell burger, right? If you know the correct way or if you stretched it out differently, that's okay. Yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine, and that's okay. For this specific writing, we were just weren't focused on spelling all the words exactly right, right? We spelled the sight words correctly, and the other ones we stretched out. That was just us practicing stretching out the words. Great job, friends. The unicorn will eat the burger. I hope you eat a burger today. Now let's color.